Hi, my name is Pop. This video shows how to make flashcards using a spreadsheet. I'm using a spreadsheet called OpenOffice.org and their spreadsheet is called Calc, but this will also work on any spreadsheet. Uh, probably you will be using Excel on either a Mac or a Windows machine. I am showing this right now in print preview and it shows 10 flashcards. I'll enlarge them a little bit and you can see what they look like. They are shown here in yellow but I tinted them on purpose just for the sake of this demonstration. Actually they're not in color. Uh, there is a black line around each flashcard here but again that is just a line to demonstrate this. When I print them only the text will print. Uh, this print preview is what it would look like when it does print. I will close that now and go to the uh, spreadsheet itself. This is a spreadsheet called F for front and then I've got another one here which is B for back and that's going to be in Spanish. These are Spanish English flashcards and of course you can make your flashcards on any topic, uh, states and capitals or multiplication tables. I have the main list right here and the main list could be as many as you want. If you've got three or four thousand of them you can have a list like that. Uh, a column is what is on one side, B column is what is on the other side. Since they print ten up it's really really easy to use because all you got to do is copy and paste 10 at a time uh, going 10, 20, 30 and so on. This main list is where I get my information and where I type in the original items. When I grab 10 of them, copy in and paste them, I paste them over here onto this sheet called P. Now this sheet right here is what is going to make the flashcards. And this is sort of an intervening sheet because when I go to the front F and I have a sentence written in English right here, that's not really here. What's really here is a cell reference to sheet P. And you can see the formula up here. It says go to sheet P and put in cell A. And if you go down one, that's A2, A3, A4, A5. And then in the second column, A6, A7, A8, A9, A10. And that's all English. Now on sheet B, this is the Spanish and it's the same thing. I really don't have any Spanish written here. What I've got is a cell reference and it picks up what's in B5 of sheet P. Remember the second column B was the Spanish. Now I've got them flipped. Now we've got B over here and they're in reverse, they're in descending order. So this is not A1, this is B5, B4, 3, 2, 1. And then the second column is 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6. Now, you have to do that because you're going to be holding the card with your thumb and forefinger right here and when you flip the card there is a psychological tendency to want to flip the card on its short axis from top to bottom and I found when I originally did this that when you had the cards printed non upside down on the back well that was unhandy seeming and it felt peculiar. This feels natural. So I've got the vest has no sleeves on 1A 
and when you flip it around this will be the top this will be the bottom and the Spanish is on the other side now when you uh, format your spreadsheet you need to set the rows up for height of two inches. You need to set the columns up for width three and a half inches. You need to set the pages up for eight and a half by eleven, that's default, and then portrait is default. And you need a three quarter inch margin on each side, left and right and then a half inch margin on the top. The bottom is irrelevant. The way that works is you've got I'm gonna go to print preview again. You've got three and a half inches here, three and a half inches here, that gives you seven, but the paper is eight and a half inches total. So add an in inch and a half to that for your margins and you'll need a three-quarter inch margin three and a half three and a half and three-quarter that gives you eight inches going down you've got a half inch on the top and then two four six eight ten and another half inch that makes eleven when you print the first side let's say you're going to print thirty you just buy this paper at the office supply store for business cards which is scored it's sort of like a dotted line it's pre-folded and it separates very easily and you'll put in 30 of those and you'll print them then you take them out and put them back into the tray of your printer but this might give you a problem because when you do that you've got to think well no wait a minute do I put them in face down or face up do I put them top in or top out so I just wrote myself a note put side B in the tray with the printed side up and with the top in now let me show you how you do the uh, cut and paste actually it's copy and paste right now I'm in the printed sheet and it starts out with the vest has no sleeves and uh, that's going to be probably number 11 here yeah no number 10 the vest has no sleeves okay uh, what I want to do is grab a whole set of these and I'm gonna go control C and now I'm gonna go to the print sheet and control V is paste and there I am and everything has changed and you can do this very quickly it just takes one second as you see well, I hope you enjoyed this very much. My name is Pop. I have a whole bunch of YouTube videos, uh, instructional stuff. Most of it is written in uh, Linux and Ubuntu. Thank you very much.